Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk. So I'm doing Vinyl Tag 2022. So this one is going to be Rob Walker's version. Uh, I'm also going to do Stunty's version as well. Um, and I'm hoping, I don't know if it's going to settle that one of those becomes the quote unquote official Vinyl Tag or not. But let's get right into it. So Rob's first prompt was favorite album of 2021. So Squid with Bright Green Field, um, that was both his and my uh, favorites. So there you go. And uh, he even mentioned me in his video about that. Show an album by the first artist you saw live. Well, oh, and mine is on black vinyl rather than his green vinyl. Um, second prompt. Uh, first group you ever saw live. Um, so when I was a little kid, about four years old, uh, 1973, I got taken. I thought it was Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and maybe Young. Um, my internet looking seems to have indicated that I think it was just a Crosby and Nash show without Stills, without Young. I'm showing this Crosby, Stills, and Nash album because it's the one I happen to have that meets the prompt. Uh, question number three, show an album by a duo. So I'm going to show you Lifers by Local H. Um, so they're sort of a sh the Chicago-based uh, rock band. Got started in the 90s, but one of those ones that keeps on going. So Scott Lucas is the singer-guitar player. His guitar is strung in such a way that he's basically also serving the role of the bass player at the same time. A guy named Ryan Harding is the current drummer of the band. Show a sealed album. Well, I have this, which I have never opened because I kind of got it by mistake. Prince Purple Rain on a picture disc. I'm not really a picture disc sort of person. Um, I wasn't paying a close enough attention and I ordered it. And I haven't actually opened it and played it yet. I might give it to somebody who's more into picture discs. Or maybe I'll break down and play it someday. Um, number five, a concept album. So I'm going to go with the Alan Parsons Project with the turn of a friendly card. And sort of the concept there is talking about gambling and gambling addiction. Some of this was used on a documentary called Poker Bust Outs about the dregs of the Vegas poker world. Poker is something I, I've also been interested in. It was made probably around 2005 or so. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find a version that I could link up to that you could watch it. And um, that movie's as scary for a poker player as if you've ever seen the Alan Zweig documentary, Vinyl, is to those of us that are record collectors. All right, uh, prompt number six is an album you've not gotten around to listening to yet. This is actually kind of hard for me because usually um, I will listen to an album right away when I get it or it's something I've had on CD or I've streamed, but I've never listened to this Johnny Mathis album. I got it. I think it was basically box filler with some albums that I'd gotten from Dom at Seeking a Thread. So I haven't listened to Johnny Mathis yet. Um... Prompt number seven, Discovery for 2021. So again, I've talked about this band before. They are the feature of my most popular video ever. Um, so Les Filles de Illigadad, the Daughters of Illigadad uh, from Niger. Um, so these women play the Tuareg Sahel Desert Blues style. Um, this is their album at Pioneer Works, uh, which was a live album. But I'm going to show a different live album for prompt number eight, which is a live album. So I'm going to show you some good old Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. He was playing to a literally captive audience. Record for somebody from a different continent. Well, I've already done North America, Europe, and Africa in albums I've shown, shown so far. So, And I'm from North America. I will show some South America uh, Africa Brazil is the name of the album by the Brazilian artist Jorge Ben. 
record with a price tag on it. So this is ZZ Top's Eliminator album. And so uh, it still has um, some of the original shrink on it. And you can see the original price tag. Somebody bought it at Kmart back in the 1980s for $7.97. You can also see the um, price tag from the antique mall that I got it at from booth 1017 for $1. Um, number 11, a punk or a new wave album. Never mind the bollocks, here's the Sex Pistols. Okay, prompt number 12 is a box set, so I'll show one of Rob Walker's favorites. Uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, the best of everything. Um, so this is a four-disc set, which is obviously a career-spanning retrospective of the late Tom Petty. I just have the basic black version. I know Lisa Tedesco got the clear vinyl version of this. <clears throat> Prompt number 13, a sporting theme. And so I'm going to go with the White Stripes Seven Nation Army. I'm showing the seven inch single version of Seven Nation Army because this is a pretty ubiquitous song played at sporting events, both in the United States and I've heard it played at European uh, football matches as well. So I'll go with that as my sporting theme. A jazz album. Um, I decided not to go sort of the Blue Note route. Um, I went the Black Jazz route. So Henry F Franklin, the Skipper. So this is 1972 album by the virtual bassist Henry the Skipper Franklin. Uh, these, these, the Black Jazz guys, I think, were always... Somehow they looked even cooler and more mysterious uh, than the jazz musicians at the bigger labels. So there you go. A best of album for number 15. This is something I recently got for five bucks. I'd heard a couple of the songs and um, I thought this was a good pickup. The best of the James gang featuring Joe Walsh. Um, so there's a best of album. An album with more than eight people on it. Okay, so here is this uh, Willie Nelson and Friends album. And so you've got Willie Nelson, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine people on the cover. So Willie Nelson has a lot of friends. He has more friends than I do. Cheryl Crow is one of his friends, and one of my neighbors went to high school with Cheryl Crow. All right, got about five or six more prompts to go. Number 17 is to show a soundtrack. So this is actually a tribute of a soundtrack. So American Laundromat Records did, they often do these crazy compilations. So this is a tribute to Repo Man. Um, this was a gimmicky glow in the dark version. It's not glowing in the dark right now. Um, and so it's not the original Repo Man soundtrack, um, but it is all the original songs presented in the same order. <clears throat> by different uh, groups. I like Amanda Palmer with her institutionalized. <clears throat> Mike Walk and the Second Men with Let's Have a War. Secret Agent Man, Hombre Secreto by Matthew Sweet. And so um, that's what I'm going to show for my soundtrack. Uh, some VCLT. So here's something I got from JJ22 Explosive Hits, The K-Tel Man. 25 polka greats, 25 of the greatest polka tunes ever. Um, so, of course, you've got classics like Lichtensteiner polka, Too Fat polka, Jenny Lynn polka, clarinet polka. Um, occasionally, polka is not in the neat title of the song. Mother-in-law, in heaven there is no beer. That sounds more like hell to me. Um, album with no writing on the front cover. So, uh, we're going to go with Car Seat Headrest, um, making a door less open. There is writing on the back cover, so I hope that wasn't part of the prompt. Uh, but this is a group 
led by Will Toledo that I was made aware of by uh, Calvin Wazoo, uh, Richard, um, his channel. He's a big Frank Zappa guy, but he's also really likes this car seat headrest group. Uh, number 20, we're over 10 minutes, sorry guys, uh, but we're almost done. Show a 7-inch single, so this is Hara Mara, um, We Are All Broken, um, so this is actually a colored EP on white vinyl, and they are an Indonesian hardcore punk band. This is about five years old or so. So I've got, I've now I've got five continents down. Colored vinyl. I'm going to get in continent number six. I'm going to show you on Australian. Um, so I'm going to show you a Courtney Barnett record. So this is her most re recent record. Things take time, take time. I have the blue and white splattered vinyl version. Since I buy, I've been buying a lot of records the last couple of years. I have a lot of colored vinyl. And the final prompt is an album from 1982, so something that is now 40 years old. John Cougar, John Mellencamp, American Fool, because I'm an American Fool with a lowercase f.